Hey guys, Polly Make here. I'm still playing Grovestone in 2018, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so yeah, we're here. It's 2018. We're playing the game. Let's talk about why. Um, Growstone started out pretty slow. It started out in, I think, April or May of 2017 as just an idle RPG, standing in your mind, throw stones at a stone, upgrade those stones, get more powerful. That's kind of the basics of the game. Um, to break it down a little more smoothly for you, uh, you are in a mine to start the game, your own mine. Uh, there are multiple channels of this mine, but that just changes the chat, to be clear, of different, different chat channels. Um, your goal is to, to start hitting, throwing what, what appears to be, I think, starting out as, I'm going to turn some things off here. I'm going to do some things like combining stones, which I'll explain here in a second, to make some room in my inventory. Um, and I'm going to take some stones off of my belt, this top eight being my belt. Now, as I throw these stones, notice they come out as hands. So without stones, you throw hands at people. Um, kind of cool. So once you get your first stone, I'll show you what that looks like. Let's see here. Attack. Ugh, ugh, die. Got a clover. Um, you're now throwing uh, clovers or stones or rocks instead of your hands, and they do uh, considerably, considerably more damage. As you put stones in your top eight, let's take these off my top eight, you'll notice this power level here will go up. So as you're mining stones, you're going to get higher, pe higher powers and uh, be doing more damage um, per stone that you throw. Um, the damage you do is based off of the stones you're throwing. So boom, damage, 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 damage. The damage is normalized here in the mine, meaning it doesn't matter what kind of stone you have or hand, uh, you're going to do the same damage to the stones uh, and be able to get more stones and, and, and upgrade them. So let's see if I can get some more stones here. Go over to this, attack the crap out of it. It gives me a clover. I need another green clover. Let's go over here, attack it. All right, and we have two green clovers. Boom. Oh, it skipped. Hadouken. Don donut. Let's do. Let's see how far we can go with this, guys, and we're good. That's as much as we got. So, what am I doing right now? Is I'm combining stones that I've been mining over the over the period of a couple days, um, and I'm kind of uh, organizing my resources in my inventory here. Just like any other MMO, you have uh, you have objects to be storing in your inventory. You have equipment to be maintaining and finding and upgrading um but i promise it actually all comes down to your top eight stones like what what stones are you throwing is uh is a big deal um unlike other rpgs where you might need a sword you might need a shield that's not growth stone if you have a helmet if you have a shield it's mostly for looks and some defense stats which will make you a little tankier so the game's played by running around from a top-down perspective uh, a tapping attack will attack either in the last direction you walked or if you're locked onto a target by proximity It'll attack them. Now you have three modes of play in Growstone, uh, uh, determining what, how idle you are. Are you active or not? So you have auto on, which is running towards, um, it's like a script, right? It's a bot. It runs towards objects or mobs on the screen that are attack, uh, able to be attacked, and it, and it does so. Um, and then you have auto two, which will, if brought into proximity of an object that you can attack, We'll start chucking rocks out of it. One of, this is one of my favorite modes right here because you're half active and half idle. You can play with one hand. Auto, to, auto off, the safest mode for boss runs, we can explain later. Um, but this one is where you can attack manually. And you, you can either attack in the last direction you walked, or you can go ahead and go in proximity of something and start smacking it like this. That's the basics of your top eight, and your top eight stones and your, your, your movement. Um, chats here. You can chat, it'll post right to the mine channel that you're in. Um, you can change the channel you're in by clicking here and say, hey, I want to be in channel one with all the other people here, all the other mine channel. We'll talk about these tabs here in a second. I want to be in channel one. Uh, and you'll notice there are more people here. Hi, guys. We, um, here's some emojis I actually opened up. We make video. Okay. And uh, people in Growstone, they're, they're, they can be nice. They can be trolly. Uh, but they definitely will be there to help you if you if you have questions. So um, let's continue to help you um, right now. O opening our book, we can look at the collected stones that we found um, so far in the game. So <clears throat> there's a lot of buttons on screen, a lot of things to tap. I'm sure you've already tapped them all before if you played this game before or, or, or whatnot. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tap them for you right now. So this one's a little bit new, but there's an old part to it. So the book, and then over here on collected, these are all the stones that you've collected in the game. Um, you start out um, throwing uh, hands, and then you collect these red stones. 
two redstones, so dragging one redstone on top of another, similar to how this worked. Let's see here. I, I know I don't have any redstones, but dragging the, stone, dragging the same stones on top of each other is how you, um, is how you upgrade, upgrade your particular stones. So here we go. Inside my book, you see I go from red to white to gray to black to shurikens to clover, hadouken, donut, um, stars, etc. Um, our favorite stones, obviously, the dragon balls, the dragons, and now we have our solar stones. The, the point of this game is to get higher power, and you have to do so by mining and combining those stones. Um, there are methods in which you can make the stones combine on their own without you having to do that. So you can leave your phone on overnight and easily come back to higher, higher power stones by purchasing a few buffs here. Let me show you where they're at. You got stats. So this button right here opens up your inventory. Stats, buffs, you have, um, where is it? Uh, super combination right here is a great, is a great ruby buff. It's, it, it's, it's, it uses a resource called rubies. Um, there's a, quite a few resources in this game. We'll go over them pretty, pretty slowly. There's no need to like throw them all at you at once. But rubies are like your, your pay to win type of um, currency. You can, you can pay cash for them and they come over time for free. Um, you can get them through achievements during the game, and they, like I said, G uh, Supercat, the developers, they just throw them at you anyways. So you use the rubies to do the super combination buff, the auto combination, auto combine buff. Now, auto combine, when turned on and, 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 and maxed up especially, but even at level one it works, will take two stones of like, like type in your, in your inventory and, and combine them for you. So that can happen overnight. Super combination is where you have the chance to skip the tier. So you can move um, much quicker up the tiers of stones by just um, using uh, having a super combination buff. Also, when the game produces a weather effect called rain, your your combination for super uh, for your, your super combination increases. So there you have it. You're mining rocks. You're either manually combining them by dragging them on top of each other, or you're letting them auto combine over time. They're skipping tiers if they're being super combined, or they're staying uh, they're just going one, up one tier at a time. Um, that is mining rocks, and that's upgrading, and that's increasing your power. Uh, bag space is super important for this. If you haven't thought about it yet, you can think about it now. The more bag space you have, the more stones you can collect, the more you can combine at a given time. So um, I'm going to show you how to get more bag space. Shop, upgrade bag right here with, with cash. We're going to go over here to pets. We're going to grab FedExer. We're going to grab Deer Girl. Now, you won't have any pets to start with. You must summon them. You must pay rubies or, I think, gold for Deer Girl. So they'll give her basically for free. These two pets right here, when upgraded through details, will give you more bag space. Now, FedExer requires a special, um, a special uh, sorry, um, currency called Essence of Water. And Deer Girl requires a special currency called Essence of Fire. So Essence of Water and Essence of Fire. I'm going to show you where to get those, but it's important that you get your pets and your bag space leveled up. It's not going to let you level your pet up until you get your bag space leveled up, so I promise you you got some things to do before you have to worry about that. Now, having said that, I'm going to go over a little bit more of the interface here, and then we're going to call this one uh, quits, because this one's just supposed to be an intro, and uh, we'll have some other videos for you in the future. So um, what you can do after you figured out how to get some stones, how to combine them and get your top eight filled, what you can do is you can walk up over here, um, and you can go inside of this mine dungeon, okay? And so the first mine dungeon, you might want to try day one, uh, but uh, you're going to know really quick, I either need to dodge more, have some potions, which you can get from an herb forest, I'll have to show you, um, or you're going to have to get more power in order to defeat these things. Now, why do you want to defeat the mine dungeons, you might ask? Well, defeating the stone boss golem here, this guy, will allow you to start mining pebbles. Defeating the pebble boss golem will let you mine big stones, etc. This is an extreme increase in the rate of power that you're getting, um, exponential. So being able to mine something of a higher grade will allow you to go much faster. Now you say, well, Polly, I, I, I die when I go in there. I, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not high enough power. Well, why don't you go try to get some potions from a really easy place called the Herb Forest? So we're going to click this little channel up here. We're going to click Field. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to Herb Forest, um, easy, from, from level 5 right here. We're going to click and we're going to go. We're walking around the Herb Forest. Now you can do Auto On here because things are pretty weak. You can do Auto 2 here, walk around and just smack things and hope you get some potions. Okay, it's a, it's a random drop to get potions. There we go, we got a potion. Shows up in my inventory right here. Now it's got a little circle on it with a red line through it. It says, I'm untradeable. 
Um, that's fine. Not all, the, not all the items in this game are tradable, but there, most items that are untradable have a tradable version. Um, this just particular version is not tradable. So when, when you get potions in your inventory, they show up as an icon on screen here, and uh, you can click them to use them. And therefore, you're not going to die. You can tap them. So now you can heal yourself up. So now you're feeling like, hey, Polly, uh, you know, potions are good. Mind bosses are good. I'm out of tickets. I, I've, I've combined all day. I'm bored. What do I do? Where do I go? I got some places for you. You got PvP. Go ahead and click, uh, let's see here. We're going to go field. Scroll to the bottom. War Forest. Let's go. I don't care what power you are. Go here. Check it out. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to get clapped. It's going to be funny. So here's where the PvP happens. Let's run around. Let's put it on auto too. There we go. Here we go. And we smack some people. And then we leave. That's PvP. That's fun. Um, Paul, you know, Polly, I'm still not having fun in this game. What else is there to do? Uh, it's 2018, guys. I got you. Here we go. The fields have been upgraded. We have fields that go all the way up to level 90 with 4 million to 6 million power. So you got quite a bit of time there. But go ahead and start yourself in the forest and uh, run around. Here we go. And this is where you're going to find mobs that do some more damage. You're going to be able to take care of some quests, um, which I can show you right now. Here we go. Trophy quests. All your quests in the game are going to show up either here or inside of your book. And these book, these are stone quests here. These are item quests. These are monster quests. It's all written in English or Korean or whatever your 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 what language you speak. So go ahead and read through them. But stone stone quests are just saying, have you um, see here, it's weird. Have you collected this group of stones? Collect you know one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, etc. Get the reward. Have you collected this set of items? Get the reward. Have you killed this many of this mob? Get the reward. Those are one time one time rewards. Here's some titles. Some skins for your damage, and like I said, the collected items and stones in the game. That's what we're working with here. Uh, running around this field will give us XP. Let's see here. Experience, it'll give us gold. Gold is a currency that is pretty useless in this game. It's used for a couple buffs. I'll show you one buff that I use um, inside the shop. It is right here. Armor Enhanced Scroll, that's 4.8 million gold, and you can do it five times a day, so that's a reason to want gold. Um, Crafting a phoenix, let me open up a craft box here. Go a little bit fast for you just to show you though. But crafting a phoenix requires 150 million gold. So there's some reasons you want gold, um, but they're, they're kind of far out there. At, in the beginning, it's going to be mostly for just buff, uh, um, sorry, raising up your buffs, your attack, your movement speed, etc. Um, and those are all here in stats, buffs, all down here. Go ahead and look at all these stats, read through them. Um, one of the ones I'll go ahead and explain to you, one that doesn't make as much sense, would be a stat. Where is it at? All these stats make a lot of sense. They're readable, except for uh, penetration here. So there's a stat whenever you get a stone leveled up to level 90, because you can upgrade your stones after you get them like this with gold. So you want to level your stones up to 100. So you collected a new stone. You collected a red stone, a white stone, a gray stone, a black stone. It's time to level that thing past 90 and get that thing smacking, doing more damage. So just like a, a sword you get in an RPG, you need to upgrade this thing with, with gold. After you, it goes past 90, you get an available stat point, an, a, a, like a permanent stat point. This is the only version of, of, of upgradable stat points that aren't tied to like gear and RNG in this game. And so you have HP, length of attack distance, and penetration. Penetration is not the ability to go through defense. It's where your projectile literally goes through an object and keeps, keeps going. Lengthening your attack distance is going to allow you to attack greater distances. Um, and increased HP is my favorite. We'll give, make you tanky. Um, Take a look through the buffs. After getting your stones to 90, you can take you can grab a stat and uh, make sure to upgrade your stones past 90 at least um, after collecting them. Those are just some basic basic um, uh, tips and tricks. There's nothing really here that's going to ruin your gameplay experience. This is an RPG. Make a choice, stick with it, modify it, figure out what patterns for upgrade work for you, and um, your choices will either benefit you or hurt you or make you unique in this game um, as it plays out. So let's take, go back to the mine real quick, and let's take a look a little bit more at the interface and close this video out. So we have ourselves our inventory. We can pop up and down. We have our top eight, which are the stones that we're able to throw. Um, we collect other stones by running around mining. We can purchase an auto mine inside of our buffs category, our buffs page, that gives us this little machine that will, will mine for us, and we can just stand there in front of it. Mining, just smacking the dang thing, okay? It's pretty simple, and this game will play out really well in front of you um, through chat and by reading the buttons. I don't want to ruin it all for you by holding your hand through it all. Um, 
There's some things here in my inventory that you, you, I can trash that I just don't even need. I got them from the field. Um, it's cloth, iron, some miraculous fragments. Now, if you're curious what the item does, go ahead and read it. It's needed, to, it's needed essence when reinforced pet of fire. The translation's a little off, but if I go to my pets and I go to deer girl, look what she takes to upgrade, essence of fire. So collecting essence of fire allows me to upgrade deer girl. Now, the higher level deer girl is, the more bag slots I get. Okay, that's the more space I get in my bag. I also have a warehouse that I can upgrade. So there's quite a bit of places I can place items so I don't run out of space while I'm grinding. Um, let's see here. Uh, you got friends in this game. So adding friends is really cool. You can just go ahead and click somebody and add, add friend. If they add you back, they'll show up inside of your friends list here. Okay, that's the friends icon. And I suggest sending, getting at least 30 friends and sending them each a friend point every day. The way that works is you go here to your friends line. You look for an icon that is either blue or gold and you click it. The blue means you're sending them a friend point and they need to send you one back. The gold means they already sent you a friend point and now you're sending it back. What does that give you? Well, it gives you a currency that you can spend inside of the friendship store. You could buy avatars, fishing bait for fishing, item seals for trading items that you've crafted and miraculous needles for crafting those items, which brings us to crafting. Um, fishing is down here. I can talk about it really quick before I move on. If you turn your auto off like this and um, go to your friendship store, and purchase a piece of bait, like this. You can fish. We fish for unique seals. We fish for Gaia's favor. These are particular um, resources in the game that we value as higher level players. Um, but at first, you can just fish for fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fish real quick. And it looks like the animation for fishing looks bugged, at least on Nox. So I'll walk away. He'll put a fishing rod out. Um, there's a little mini game. Go ahead and check out 9H Soul's video on, on Facebook if you want to know how to fish. She did a great job. Um, maybe I'll post it in the description below for you. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. So let's go ahead and move on to crafting. Let's walk up here in our mine, open our inventory, hit craft, and you'll see I had a couple things being crafted. Let's open them. And they're just producing some item crystals. Item crystals are a special currency in this game. Think of it as the uh, trash resource, meaning you have a trash piece of gear, you break it down into some scrap metal, that's item crystals. It's like your scrap metal of the game. And what we use it for is crafting these phoenixes here. Phoenixes take a dragon stone, which is the highest grindable stone, um, 1800 item crystals and 150 mil gold and, and crafts the next level stone. So past dragons, you can no longer mine for your, um, you can no longer super combine uh, your stones. You have to start crafting them uh, to get higher tier. So let's craft some, some things that I have. Um, let's get a, go to the friendship store. Let's go down to the bottom of the friendship store. We're gonna grab a, we're gonna grab an item seal and we're gonna grab a needle, okay? Now you have to have gone to the field here. All right, you have had to have gone to the field. Look at what level you are. I'm level 151. Make sure you go to the appropriate level field. Like an RPG, the rewards are going to be nullified if you are in a field that is too low level for you. Furthermore, it's going to limit you or not let you go into a field that's too high. So let's go to where uh, is relevant for me, 90 to 90. Um, right here, power up to 6 million, reward info. See how none of these rewards are grayed out? Okay, that's what tells you whether you're allowed to go to this field and get those rewards. So let's go ahead and go there real quick. Show you what that looks like, quick entry. These are all the resources you can get from that field. So let's run around, let's put auto two, and you'll see I won't do an incredible amount of damage here. Um, this is, there we go. So this is definitely the field for me. Um, I'm getting stone tokens, I'm getting miraculous fragments, I'm gonna be getting uh, uh, leather, cloth, and iron. Now let's show you what those are used for. Crafting, we're gonna go to, let's see your armors and hats right here. Armor, so you have these three, a needle and some gold, craft. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a resource that I collected inside of a scenario called Greed. Check out my Greed 101 video here on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Um, frozen needles, and I'm going to craft two frozen boxes. So here we go. One and two. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open a craft. And there you go. That's what comes out of the craft. So cotton shoes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and right click the cotton shoes. I can equip it. Okay, notice when I equip the cotton shoes, nothing changes on my feet. No, not all the equipment shows. But let me show you what equipment does show. Because let's be real, um, any game like this is like, you know, 
fashion oriented. So this is just a glorified Tamagotchi in 2018, right? We carry it around. So uh, not equipped. So let's see here. Uh, not equipped. I'm going, going to unequip the things that show up on your character. There you go. I am running around as Santa Eddie. Um, I'm going to change my avatar for you through shop avatars. I'm going to scroll down where we got. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to basic hero. Where's basic? Where the hell's hero? Where is he? Right here? Cool. Boom. There was, there's hero. And then as we put our equipment back on, you can see this boot does not show up. So equipment does not show on your character. Kind of bum on that, but the cape, the cape, the offhand accessory, which is usually not a weapon and doesn't do damage, um, and the helmet do. And so there we go. We now have my character. In this uh, video, I kind of want to run across a couple things that I find to be less important for the for a new player, um, but I kind of wanted to include them in this video. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm going to forget. Uh, be sure to, you know, if there's something you know I forgot, put it in the comments below. Help people out. Um, this is just meant to get you going in the right direction and not feel very lost and know that this is a platform here that uh, more information will be given to you on this game because I enjoy playing it and I'm going to keep making content on it. So having said that, um, we talked about stats. We talked a little bit about pets. You can store your pets um, if because you can only have a certain amount um, equipped at one time without unlocking more pet slots with rubies. You can summon pets, but, and then they give you particular stats, whether they're out or not. The, st the, the pet does not need to be out next to you or equipped. Let me show you. Equip pet. Does not need to be next to you like this in order to give you the bonus, okay? The pet just needs to be owned, okay? And not archived. Not archived. Um, crafting. You have a bunch of crafting to read through. Resources can be found. Um, any resource you see that you don't understand where it came from, Look around your UI, look around all your buttons, and try to see, and then ask in chat, um, and somebody's sure to tell you where it comes from. Uh, you can craft more potions, hats, of course. Um, what else? Shop. So you can buy rubies with cash. Um, you can purchase new avatars. Um, there's a lot of cool growth packages I recommend for new players. Go ahead and read through them if you have money, see what's best for you. But spending a little bit of money on this free-to-play game, even just removing your ads is... Uh, is, is worth it, I promise. I mean, maybe 10 to $20. These guys deserve it. So look through here. It's definitely designed to spend a little bit of money, um, the game is. It's not pay to win necessarily at all, but um, it's designed to, to spend a little bit of money um, if, if you're into it. Uh, there are clans that you can join, apply for. Um, if you go looking for clans, I think right here. Here we go. You can look through clans. You can click a clan that you're interested in and sign up or apply for that clan. They, you'll show up in their, um, your, their the request applications and then they can add you to their clan where you can decide what to do. You can run attendance, which is basically everyone saying, hey, I'm here. You can donate a special currency I'll talk about here in a second called stone tokens and we'll talk about trading. Um, and you can donate your coins, both of which do something different. The stone tokens go to level up your clan. The higher level your clan, the more people you can invite. And they also, um, the, the and sorry, the gold you donate goes to buying upgrade, upgraded buffs for your clan. How do you get the buffs? Well, you spend clan tokens. Now, by donating to your clan, you are given clan tokens. You can then spend those clan tokens on buying buffs. Those buffs then show up right here. So that's one of the reasons you want to be in a clan. Plus, plus there's a clan chat here. There you go. There is a nearby chat, and there's usually a party chat. So the party system looks like this. Create party. Give it a name. You can give a minimum power of people that are, people only over 9,000 allowed in your game. Okay? And uh, then once you have a party, you can then invite to the party, find people, friends, clan members. You can invite people from chat here as well. Now that brings us to trading as our last little thing we're going to talk about today. Um, you do not spend gold and grow stone to trade. Okay? I'm going to answer that question right now. It's done. Stone tokens, all right? So stone tokens are gathered through the field. They're gathered, um, you know, they're gathered from uh, Tower of Challenge, which is a video we'll make all our own on raids in Tower of Challenge, um, under the dungeons. The dungeons are a whole other subsect, and, and starting this game does not require you to run a dungeon, to be clear. Um, mine dungeons, exception, because we talked about those. Tower of Challenge, which is just a big tower. You go up room after room, see how high you can get. You get stone tokens. Uh, you can see the rewards here. Um, 500k power dungeon, 1m power dungeon. These are just basic. They look like mine dungeons, but they're just meant to be spammed all day long. 
Dungeon tickets are given out every half hour, an hour, I don't remember. Um, and you can only have a max of 10. Um, and each dungeon takes a particular amount of tickets. Tower takes two, scenarios take two. Scenarios are like your basic raids from MMOs. So you have greed and, and glut. Um, greed 101 video if, you, if you're interested in that. Um, and you have fire and water raid. Uh, town is useless, don't worry about it. Um, but um, you don't get any resources there. So the only places you can get stone tokens are the field at your appropriate level. You can look at the reward info. See, those are grayed out. I can't get those. Stone tokens are these right here. Okay. Um, we trade stone tokens with each other. They look like this. I have 8,000 right now. I'm pretty poor. Um, we also trade them inside of the item exchange here. Click here. Okay. We search for armors and we pay money. Uh, stone tokens here. Um, and we also donate them to the clan. So that's our currency that we use right now. Um, that's about it. That's upgrading your stones. That's uh, figuring out what to do to start this game, how to move around, how to attack, how to trade, how to upgrade. Um, there's definitely a lot more that goes on in this game. And having grown so much, Grow Stone's not at a place that I think it's worth playing. I think it has a lot of decisions. Um, there are big time boss runs that can take up to 30 minutes to run as a group of four. Um, there, there, there's more content coming, at least five more seasons of content um, coming uh, like the last two bosses that have come out. There's way more gear out right now. There's um, new attacks. There's, there's more PvP related content coming out. Um, it's a great time. The game's growing. So uh, if you haven't downloaded already, give it a download. Use my tips and tricks here to get you started and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.